so I can open this slide now. So I'm at the doctor again. Don't know what they're gonna do. Probably not gonna record because my orthodontist is gonna be there and my surgeon, so it's gonna be like really crowded and I'm not about to cram a camera in there. So I'll let you guys know after my appointment. It was just a checkup with my um, surgeon. My orthodontist was there and they just wanted to kind of check my bite and stuff. I have to come back next week to see them individually. My surgeon's just to do his regular checkup. My orthodontist is going to give me like different rubber bands to help configure my bite. Today the orthodontist gave me these so I can start taking the rubber bands off. And next week will be all about like rehabilitation. It's 11.28. Don't even mind all the stains on this hoodie. This is my eating hoodie because I still can't feel this part of my face so food will drip sometimes and I've just decided I can't wear nice things <laughs> when I'm eating. But it's 11.28. I just finished someone's resume for, for Career Savage. So I'm doing my nightly skincare routine and cleaning my teeth and stuff like that. So today was a lot better. I called a lot of friends and like caught up with people obviously i haven't been able to talk to and i think talking helps me move my mouth yeah i'm supposed to practice talking more and my surgeon also said i should be heat using heat a lot more on my face i'm going to be heating those gel pads that you guys see me use i'm going to do it anyway this is officially the start of my fourth week this is the first day of my fourth week i'm excited to see what my results are gonna look like but right now like i'm really liking what i look like i'm loving the side profile I'm, i mean we're giving cheekbones <laughs> Okay, it is 4.32. <clears throat> Every Friday, I clean my entire apartment. So my dishwasher is going. It's not even dirty, to be honest with you. It's just like dusting and like fluffing my couch and disinfecting and like cleaning my sheets and stuff. And I'm about to go to the farmer's market. I haven't been in almost two months, but I used to go all the time and get flowers my coffee table so that's what i'm gonna do right now i also just kind of want to go outside i've been working all day i'm gonna get a smoothie and just like be a real human and not just be inside because of this jaw surgery Happy Saturday, guys. I'm covering my mouth because there's food on it currently. Today's really just going to be a really chill rest day. I'm not doing too much. I was really tired yesterday. Friday, I woke up at 6 for a work meeting, and I went to sleep at 2 a.m. So I slept in until about 11 a.m. It's now 1 o'clock. I was on the phone with a friend. So I'm about to just chill for the rest of the day. And if I do end up doing anything, I'll vlog it. If not, enjoy your Saturday. Good morning, guys. I feel like I'm talking a little bit better now because i'm trying to open my mouth more it is sunday morning i'm also heating my face i'm going to the farmer's market again but a different one i'm going to the grove to hang out with one of my friends today I had another friend over and i feel like i'm starting to get more and more energy back each day i'm cleaning my couch today which is always a really fun task another friend brought me flowers look how beautiful these flowers are on my nightstand one of my Really good friends brought them last night. They're snapdragons, I believe. I used to work in a flower shop, so I remember all these like random flower names, but they are so beautiful. Let's get some current shots of my face. Again, still can't feel anything here, but I'm starting to get, I feel this. I feel this. So I feel like it's coming back slowly but surely. Side, oh wow, my hair. 
Hold on. Other side. Looking good, feeling good. Okay, it's actually 1.30 a.m. on Monday, so Sunday night, whatever you want to call it. And I'm trying to do the exercises my surgeon told me to do. Currently, my rubber bands are off, so I just brushed my teeth. I wanted to show you guys some of the exercises that my surgeon has asked me to work on. Also, without the rubber bands, I can talk a lot better, but I still am so numb down here that I just feel a bunch of different vibrations when I'm talking. So it feels very weird for me, although it may not feel weird for you <laughs> on the receiving end. So the first exercise that my surgeon was telling me to do is to basically take my finger fingers and put it in my mouth and try and stretch as much as I can. Open as wide as I can. I'm gonna take my two fingers, cleaned of course, and open as wide as I can and try and put the fingers inside. Oh. I did that for 10 seconds, and I'm gonna do that three times for a total of 30 seconds. He didn't tell me like how often I need to do this, but me personally, I'll open my mouth, talk a little, move it around, exercise it for about like one to two minutes without the rubber bands, of course. And then I'll do this for 30 seconds, and I'm, I'm starting to do that, trying to do it every morning, every night. The way I see it is like any other muscle in your body, whether it's your hamstrings, you have to stretch it in order for it to be loose. The reason we're able to to talk so freely and open our mouths so freely is because we're exercising our mouths all the time every time we talk. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday, um, April 5th. If I could give one piece of advice, if you're working and you're thinking about having this surgery, for sure take at least a month off. Because I came back to work and I thought it would be really easy. I would just like attend some meetings, some emails, but like my industry is really high stress and there are people who are really high strung and they will project their high strungness onto you, which will make you sometimes be a little more stressed. I've gotten really good at trying not to take on other people's issues, but man. Yesterday I worked like 13 hours. As soon as I was done working at like 10 p.m. I ate and immediately went to sleep. I absolutely hate days like that because I wanna get off work at five, do whatever I need to do, take a nap, ice my face, do all that stuff. And I didn't have the opportunity to do that. So I woke up this morning extremely stiff. Just, that's my advice for you. My face is really gravitating to this side. Do you see that? You guys know how I, like I clean my face and all that stuff, so not being able to do my routine aggravates me. But <sighs> I've been glued to my desk chair since I started in this morning. God, I am like not used to this ice anymore because it's been a minute. It's so cold. It's 9.17. Oh, I love how the living room looks from over here. I just got out of the shower and I'm starting my like skincare now. I actually brushed my teeth before I am gonna eat this soup just because I felt like my teeth were just really like gross but you guys can see them. The rubber bands are kind of guiding me weird, but I'm about to eat this tomato soup I made. It has onions, tomatoes, garlic, 
um, thyme, salt, pepper, that's it. I think I made it in one of my vlogs. It's really easy to make actually. And if you like tomato soup, it's like just really simple. Then there's some tomato cream in it as well. Today is officially my one month. I'm gonna make some food first. So I just got home um, and I was really late to my appointment, but my surgeon gave me these popsicle sticks. They were ugly. And what I'm supposed to do with them is I'm supposed to put some in my mouth and then feed some in to like open more. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. After I'm done working a little bit, I told you guys I'm trying to ice my, or not ice, I'm trying to improve the healing process in my chin, so, ooh, I can kind of feel that. I fell asleep. <laughs> I actually woke up like an hour, maybe like 45 minutes ago. Oh man, I'm just like, what is even going on? I'm just so out of it. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna take these off. My AC is on, ignore it. This is why I don't put any products on my face just yet because the water like goes everywhere. I brush my teeth once like I just did. Rinse my mouth thoroughly like four or five times. Brush again, rinse four or five times, brush again, and rinse four times. Okay, now I have the popsicle sticks. This measure. <laughs> We're gonna start with four, cause that was way too much. Hey, And I just start feeding them in between. Oh yeah. Huh? I can open this side now. It feels a little bit better to, um, wow, I feel like I can talk so much better now after doing that exercise. So what I'm gonna do is to wrap out this one month video, I'm gonna finish my skincare routine and then I'm gonna do the side front profile that I will show you guys and then give you my final smile. Um, I definitely feel like I'm talking way better than I was in the third week video. I also feel like um, I'm even talking better than I was at the beginning of this week. And even just doing that exercise definitely makes me feel like a lot more confident in opening my mouth. And I think if these rubber bands weren't here, I probably would feel a lot better. But I'm gonna have rubber bands for at least a few weeks. Um, yeah, so let me finish out my routine. I'm sure you're tired of seeing this bonnet as well, but um, this is the front.
At one month, I will still say I still have lower jaw numbness, which it really isn't that bad. Um, my swelling is nearly 100% gone. I'd probably say like 95%. Just a little bit of puffiness. It's just the side. I'm able to talk a lot better now. I'm starting to get a little bit used to my bite. Get like Keep in mind, this is the fourth week, but for two weeks I was wired shut. So... And for the first week, I really didn't talk that much. I was really, cause I was wired shut for two weeks. So this is the first week where I'm actually really talking and able to have conversations. I've been in a lot of meetings with people at work. I've had a lot of friends over engaging in conversations, which has helped me improve, improve my speech. So I would say the, like the fourth week, if you get a splint in your mouth um, for two weeks, the you're really just focused on swelling for those first two weeks. And then the, the third week, you work on like talking a little bit and then in this week you work on like opening your mouth more. So far I can't complain. I think like I'm having a really good journey. My life would have been, essentially be pretty normal if I was able to eat foods because I would be like going out with friends and stuff like that. So that's the only thing. But for the most part, at one month your life gets pretty back to normal in my experience. So I'm gonna make a video about some of the stuff I bought. This is probably gonna be my last vlog for a while. Just because I don't need to see my surgeon until uh, another two weeks. So I only have to see him twice a month now instead of every week. Um, I do have an orthodontist appointment tomorrow, so I'll probably vlog that. I'll vlog appointments that I have, but I'm probably not gonna be doing these weekly vlogs anymore. Um, just cause there's like not much to really show you guys anymore. But I'll still document and um, I'll probably do like a compilation of month two in in like some way. But thanks so much for following me on my journey, guys. And I hope you stick around to continue to see uh, to consent what to continue to see how I heal. Night, guys.